here we go. Then we're going to be taking Moger, Gunolf, Luden, Alet, Iver, Ivan. We gave Moger the arm, armor, strength, and will because he's going to be our most tanky a buddy. We got Luden with the 10% chance to deal double damage. We gave uh, Ivan the chance to dodge the most attacks that are going towards him. And we gave uh, Gunolf the highest move chance, and he also can dodge strength so that he can just get up there. And um, plus three strength to Ivor so he can just deal some deal some damage. And then we gave Alette the chance to knock back or a knock back when she hits. She has higher strength, and she gets willpower per kill. Pretty awesome. We want to play around with Leo, but we'll do that later. And let's begin. This is our turn order. Here we go. All right. Now this is the placement. During deployment, you can place your units anywhere within the blue tile area. You can select a unit by clicking its tile and then deploy it by clicking on empty blue tile. And thank you guys for the retweets and the tweets. Seriously, sharing that love, sharing the word, get more exposure for Banner Saga 2. It deserves it. Let's get that up. Uh, so now this is the deployment phase. During deployment, you can place your units anywhere within the blue tiles. You can select a unit by clicking its tile and then deploy it by clicking on a blue tile. Okay. Doing it. Once all of your units are satisfactorily deployed, you can enter the battle by clicking the ready button. Alright, cool. I'm not ready. I'm not ready! Oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! Yeah, Twilight Gamer is right. I have it set to auto purge because I used to stream a game that had a very similar link to like viruses, so we had to be very, very cautious about what you what you used. Oh my word. Jeez. Crazy. Crazy amount of retweets. Okay, but look at this. You on the side here. But Ivan, what's the order? Next. Put him over here. Keep keep them near each other. And actually the entire battlefield. This looks like the battlefield. The ones with the red over them. I wouldn't be surprised if more pop in. We'll have to, have to find out. Um, I think the way I want to do this is just get everybody together. Let's just get everybody together. And I'm going to put you in the middle. You on the side here. But Ivan, what's the order? Next. Put him over here. Keep keep them near each other and actually do that and she moves after Luden something like that is what I'm thinking now what would be nice is during the planning phase if you could click on an opponent and see what their movement is so I can know where they can move to to be able to reach. Dude, so nice to see you, Zlees. How you doing? Yeah, we have to fight our way. We're trying to buy time right now. All right. Are we ready? This 12 to nine, I don't know what that means. Don't know, quite know what that means. Is that cut off? It's cut off. 
part of the stream is cut off. Right, let me fix that. Why is this cut off a little bit? What if I do that? Let me try to fix this. No. Window capture. Oh, yeah. Let me try to fix this really quick. Why isn't it stretching the full way? Why is it not? Huh. Okay, let's let's try game capture now. What is going on? Hmm. We'll just we'll make it work with what we have. I don't know. I'll have to play around with that later. There. That's everything. I just have to make it a little smaller. Doesn't look great to me, but it works. Play around with that. Hey, oh, Demon Fox, how you doing? I'm doing really good. Really nervous because we're about to enter in a fight. This is the Banner Saga 2. Like, I'm super excited. We got this two days before the release, so I can share this with you, try to build up the excitement for Banner Saga 2. It's, uh, and then we also have some giveaways for Banner Saga 1 keys going on right now. Felice, I'm super excited. All right, let's get into this. Oh, feeling like not getting the attention. Okay. So they can't reach us. This is if they exert willpower, and that's their willpower. I learned that. So he could reach us if he exerted all his willpower. Are we going to be aggressive? I think we're going to wait for them to come to us. No, because I mean, these are really far away. Maybe we just get in there. When's his turn? Way later. Um, let's do it. How much willpower do we have? Six out of four. Let's exert. Well, we don't have good. No, I guess we do. That's why we're at six of four. So we'll let's use one or two. Plus one due to caravan's morale. A let's bracelet plus one. Oh, cool. We only used one. We can't reach them, so we're just gonna end our turn. So excited! Glavian, welcome. Glad you're excited. Got some hype, man. Probably after this first mission. Okay, so he can exert one. We can't insta kill this, but we can make them pretty much weak and useless. So we're just gonna move forward. Which, I think the key is not just to kill everybody, but to make it so that they do plinking damage. So, are we gonna use it? Yeah, let's, let's make them have nothing. Here we go. Now he's gonna do nothing except for um, armor breaking. What? What are you things? Uh, okay. Because his strength is higher than our armor, he can affect our um, our strength. Which makes me think about raising his armor, actually. I think that's a smarter way to be. Thank you, Bring the Game. We're going to need it. Seriously, I appreciate you, Twilight Gamer. Thank you for like welcoming everybody new and returning. That is how it should be. I seriously appreciate you so much. Exactly. You can you can spend it to do more damage. It's your exertion, so you can increase your armor break or your damage. So let's let's show this. Um, like we can reach this guy. Our, our deal's really low, though. Um, I don't think you can impale somebody unless they're yeah right in front of you. He's gonna be moving. What are these things? Let's 
make them weak. Alright, so we're gonna exert ourselves a bunch. That's gonna go down to seven. And then, oh, we could impale it. No, we can't. We can attack it. And then we exert one, goes up to seven. Exert two, goes up to eight to kill it, but I don't want to kill it. I just want to get it super weak. Chase, the Skulker can move through allies. Skulk. The Skulker becomes visible and stalks a target. Howl, the Skulker re reappears and attacks, signaling its pack mates to attack the same target. Did we just kill it? Let's just get rid of it. And then that's gonna change the order. Yeah, this game is beautiful. Bring the game, you have a lot of coins you're building up there. Nice job. Alright, who's getting a turn? You go next, you go, and you go. But Ivor's gonna go before you, so let's, let's get some... We're gonna use one willpower. She can move a lot if she exerts the willpower. I don't quite get how that works. Is it because she has three exertion? Oh, it's because she has three exertion. Okay, so the more exertion you have, the more you can move as well. That's important to know. I didn't I didn't know that. So we're gonna move her forward. We have abilities, which is Overwatch. So we deal strength damage to whoever moves, which is nice, but look how high their strength is compared to ours. Our strength is only an 11. We could also thread the needle, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to armor break. So watch. Two, three, four, five. Because this is a two, then three. So we can lower their armor quite significantly. We could also deal damage, but there's a chance we'll miss. So I think that's who I want to go for. Or... Oh, we can't reach them. Yeah. We're just going to armor break them for five. We have plenty of willpower, so let's do it. I'm glad you think this game looks awesome, Anubis. Super happy. Arnie with the answers. Oh, you're gonna get more. You're always appreciating and valuing the game. Always. You're earning coins every time. Alright, so he's pretty weak. I'm thinking about just laying in the damage right away. I could also push him back. We'll, we'll decide what we're gonna do. Let's step forward. We're gonna use one willpower. We could battering ram him, which will uh, one break plus one. So this is armor break. So we could break his armor for three, for five, which is pretty significant. Or we could deal some serious damage because he has 18, right? So he can start to hurt our armor. And he could also just straight up hurt us. So we're going to deal physical damage. No, no, physical damage. Physical damage. And this is 12. I don't know if we really need to exert ourselves too much, but we are going to for now. Let's get 14 on there. Because I don't want him to be higher than... And we're body blocking. This is a great thing. Dude, look at this. He won't be able to fit through here, so that's a little bit of a strategy that we're playing through. I, these are kind of a wild card. He walked over here and then disappeared. I, I don't fully know what's going on with those. Does your willpower refresh after every battle, or do you have to do something special to regain it? Uh, that's a great question. Our willpower is based off... Um, like, we start with this, I believe, once we rest or just finish a battle, and then you can increase it based off your caravan's morale or taking out an enemy. So... I could move here, but we still can't attack? What's, what's the range? See, what would also be nice for a tooltip is knowing who's in range of our ability, known as Arc Lightning, which is, I believe, one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five, it's six, so six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it goes down to five. So, six, one, Two, three, four, four forward is what we need to do. Five. Okay, four and one right. Okay. One, two, three, four, one. If we get there, 
We should be able to reach him now. Boom! Now, I don't want to kill him, though. But we have so much willpower. It just seems like the way to be. Um, we could straight up kill him. I could make this rank 3, which will cost us 3 exertion. And we could just kill him. Which isn't a bad idea. Because he has an arm break of 2 and an exertion of 1, so he could break 3 armor. The 3 armor I'd rather keep, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make that 5. If we do this, see what happens is if we kill him. See, this is his turn. His turn is going to be after Gunnel. If we kill him, then he's going to be going after Gunnel from now. And that changes everything. So I don't know if I want to kill him. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. We're just going to arc lightning, though. We're going to do it for, for one. So see how the strategy gets in there? A bit. Who are you? Morale, yep. Well explained. Well explained. By that gamer, you're getting some coins there. Point in not killing is they deal less damage. Because, like, if I, if, say this beastly guy or this dude, like, if I get rid of everybody, they go turn, turn. So if I get rid of everybody except for, say, this guy. No, not him. Say him? No, him. Him. Right, he'll be going every other turn unless he's the last one there. So that's, that's the strategy for this. And we are... Um, it's so that they just deal, like, clinking damage or hurt our armor, which is okay. I don't care about them hurting our armor as much as I care about them having a lot of strength. Like, he's who I'm worried about right now. He, he can deal some damage, but guess what? He can't reach us. I feel like walking across this is danger. Alright. So that's Mogir's turn. I don't know, do we just... We could... Probably charge. No, we can't. I don't know. We could kill him. I just don't want to yet. Do I really want to move him forward? I don't even want to move him forward. Look at this. We're we're in great position. I'm just gonna rest. It's kind of a waste of a turn, but it's planning. It's planning. All right, gun off. Is stuck. have to kill him so I can move forward. He's going to get a turn. He has one armor break, so he can break our armor. I just... At that point, we kill him. Because we're not going to get through. And he could charge over here. So, we are going to kill him. Oh yeah, and summoning allies. That is definitely a thing. Luden can't do anything right now. Crap. Just end turn. Ugh. Okay, so two, and this is his passive ability. Whenever an enemy attacks him, they take armor break. So two for one, not bad. This is who I really want to attack. Is this guy. It's a plinky plink. And how we're gonna do this, let's see. You go next, then that thing, which we can't see. Then him, who can't reach us. And this thing that we can't see. That thing we can't see, and then him. All right, cool. Let's move forward quite a bit then. I want Luden to be able to get through. Wow, what the? Oh, that made me jump. I jumped a little bit from that. Uh, okay, that's... That's it, apparently. We can't reach anybody. Let's overwatch. We can't move, so they mess up our movement. Yeah, get shot. Oh, look at that. And he get knocked back. 
Jesus! Oh, get owned. Um. I don't want to be able to get hit by this, so we're gonna move right here. Yeah, that's the way to go. And then, word, did we just kill him? Let's do it, because he's gonna summon another guy. So let's just kill this dude, whose turn isn't even up on the board yet. Yeah, let's just take him out. You always kill everyone you meet, huh? I see. I see play. Ooh. Oh! Get deflected. Alright. Hmm. I don't like these things. Who's got some armor that they lost, right? Did you lose some? 17, 14, 8, 11, 8. I'm, I... You have a decent amount of armor, dude. I think I'm just gonna kill this. We're gonna move forward a little bit. Hiya! Feel my stuff. I don't know. Play's crazy, Twilight. Just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's hop in this. Oh! Sweet, we can attack him twice. Let's get in there. And we're gonna bring the pain. Break damage plus one. So our break damage is three, so will this make it plus one? Okay, cool. So we should be breaking for four. Right? Ooh, and we hit all those around him. Get shot with a bow. And we're gonna bring Gunnel over. And I'm gonna have him take out this Slinger. We're gonna leave him alive so that he can't get through. See, see, see a little bit of the strategy that's going on here? Because he gets to go next. And then he gets a move out of the way, but he'll still be blocking no matter where he moves. He'll be dead. And then this guy is gonna be forced to attack just him. Which is fine. He can deal strength damage. But that's okay with me. Let's take him out. Because that guy, they are annoying. Alright, and then he's gonna do the summon soon. There's Luden. Who is going to move here and take this thing. Bring it low. We'll do five. I think that freaking Overwatch is beast. Yeah, let's let's deal some damage to to him so he has less strength than that armor. I think we can do it, right? Three. Let's see. Eleven. Eleven minus two. Eleven minus nine is two. We deal, so we deal two damage, plus three is five, 19 minus five is 14, 14 if it's tied. I think he can only deal strength. I don't know if it has to be greater or equal. So we're gonna move here with our exertion. We have two more, we're gonna attack, strength, five. This is gonna bring him down to 14. And then when he attacks on his next turn, he's only gonna be able to hurt for armor, I believe. I believe that's how it works. Oh yeah, we also have a horn, but we don't need it right now. All right, we got Ivor, who has which one? Just battering ram. Ooh, I could also battering ram him and move him out of the way, which I'm thinking about doing. 100%. Yeah, let's do that. I, I could deal a lot of damage to you, but I could also battering ram you through, which 
plus one for each unit they go through. Spazman with the host. Can I get a shout for Spazman, please? How you doing, Spaz? What's up? Uh, I think we're just gonna deal that damage. Two. Hmm. So I really wanted to take this guy out, but we'll take him out last. And the damage to everybody around. Nice. Back off. Ivan is like super strong. Alright, so they need to be six away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have to move forward seven, which we can't do. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's in range. So we just need to move right. One. So you write right four. One, two, three, four. That works. And then we're gonna arc lightning. Boom! Take the damage. It's not diagonal, but whatever. Mmm! Took four damage. Oh, he peaced out. Here. Let's just get right in there, huh? And I believe bring the pain works on everybody who's adjacent. Getting hit. Enemies for retaliating. How come that hurt everybody else? Let's just let's test this out. Why not? I don't really want to bring the pain though. I want to hit. Who goes next? They go, and he goes. Uh, let's, let's bring the pain to this team. We're gonna move here so that he can move forward. They can move, but he's stuck. So let's bring that pain, baby. And then so he can exert. No, no, exertion one. Let's do it. Look at that chain. Why do you have armor when you can attack the life directly? You can't attack the life directly. You have to have higher strength than their armor to hit them. So see, now like we deal nine damage because our strength of 14 minus five equals nine. That's how we that's how we can hit them. Oh, uh, let's get the war. I want to get him experience. This, this is good. This is going to make this finish faster, but that's okay. This is more experience. That's why we're doing this. He just lowered by six. Five armor break? Oh, we're gonna mend that shit. We gotta mend that shit soon. We don't wanna kill anybody yet, because this is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna kill this. Uh, we're gonna move here. Because this is gonna hurt. So he's 10. Okay, so it's only armor that he could hurt. And because he has an armor break of one, he chained it for another one to deal two. Cool, that's an increase his armor soon. Alette is gonna move here, and I think we're gonna... Oh, you son of a... Ah. Freaking... That is really just that is that is making a hole in my plans. No, no, no. When your strength goes down, your armor does nothing. I really want to take him out, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I, I can't. But I am gonna push him back. Get back, son. 
five. All right, now he brought someone up, and then we're gonna inc we're gonna bring back his his armor. Check this out. We have six. We have six will hire. This is why you save it. I'm not even gonna move. I'm not even gonna move. Abilities, men. Restores an ally's armor. Restore armor up to half of the mender's current willpower. So it's six. That's plus three. Well, let's uh, increase that willpower. How about plus six? And let's see. What's his what's his deal at? Seventeen. So he's missing seven. So six plus one. Boom. Ability, mend, armor. Plus one, so he should be at full after this. Up to half, right? Oh! I missed that guy who was there. Alright. Uh, let's knock this dude down. We're gonna move into a little better positioning, and we're just gonna we're just gonna hit him. There we go. Gun off. Oh, let's see who who goes next. You go next. You go, and then you would go. So if we do this, then you go next, which is bad because I want Ivan to go first. Unless somebody could help out. Let's see. Luden. And then I'll let, okay. I got this. You push him back. And then you... You go Overwatch mode. That, that seems good to me. Okay, yeah, let's kill him. Finish him! Oh, it's much bigger. They're fighting right now, so we're doing a tactical battle, but while we're doing the ta tactical battle, all of our clansmen are being protected by our fighters. So there is a fight going on in the background. Just because this fight's going on, there's much more at play. Bring the game, bring the game, sorry. So we're gonna do that plan. We're gonna move right here, good. We're gonna impale. Bleed for one strength. Uh, so we're gonna knock him back for two tiles. Target bleeds one strength per move on the next turn. So we're gonna move him back two. We did four damage because one perfect. We're doing this perfectly, I think. Um, let's see. Um, our strength was ten, right? So ten. Minus eight is two. So why did we get the higher deal? I don't know why we dealt for four, but we dealt for four. Um, is it an item? I don't know. Oh, two times strength. I guess we got the double damage, so we dealt four. And then, so we lost four, and now if he moves again, he's going to get hurt. So now it's a let's turn, and we're going to move her right here. Oh, they are so annoying. And that's our attack range. We're not going to be able to reach him. You know what? Get out of here. Thread that needle. Get, get the O. Oh, get the out. Yeah, peace. Oh my god, look how much damage he took. What just happened? Keep away from that slag. Um, do we finish him off? We could. But I want to kill the rest of these dudes first. And I want Mogir to get higher level, so I'm going to just chill with Ivor. gonna attack your armor son. Why not? 
I hope you appreciate this detailed level of strategy, like I do with XCOM, for anyone who hasn't seen before, exclamation mark XCOM attempt. And then, Ivan! Uh... Let's just chill with our turn. We're gonna... We're not gonna do anything with you. I don't, I don't need you to get experience, so we're gonna mend. Wow, that's some range! Look at that! Seven, eight. Do this. So you should go to full. Yep. Five! That's crazy. Alright, let's... Let's get rid of... So you would go next. You would go next. I've gone all fixed and finish you later. Um, that's some armor breakage. Let's let's get rid of this annoying thing. Get out of here. That's fine. Oh, I can't reach you. I want the experience. I have a feeling if we kill this guy, something's, something's gonna happen, so we're not gonna kill him yet. Let's, like, go right here. So this is pretty good positioning by them, in a way. Although, I mean, they're, they're screwed if we want to just kill them, but we're not going to. Tis triggered. Let's just, let's just go here. Let's see if we run into one of those little sculptors. We'll end our turn. Yup. Surprised by that. Ludin. Get you the kill. Donezo. Okay, so it dealt one damage. What happens if we walk over this? I really want to experiment with this. We're gonna, we're gonna test it out. Now it's pillage mode. This is really cool. So everyone's gonna get a turn before him. So let's test it out. Damn it. Get on the slide. Iver. I'm not gonna give you the kill. Hover over it? Oh, maybe I should have. Yeah. Ivan. We're gonna have you men. We're gonna have you men. Boss. Watch that armor. Woo! Menders are so good. Mogir, wreck them. Look at that. The foes lying dead at your feet with regret. Tempered by blood. Pain. Got some promotions ready. Oh, minus one strength and plus one armor. Okay. Wait, so you get plus one armor? Are you sure? Ronika, what do you think of that? Was that cool? Hello, how you doing? Plus 22 renown. Pretty good. Alright, prepare for bad voice acting. Prepare yourselves. And thank you again, everybody, for the retweets and the likes. Build up that exposure for Banner Saga 2. And we have some giveaways coming soon for Banner Saga 1, the courtesy of Stoic Games. Hakon works his way through frantic clansmen on his way to you. You lost some good Varl on those ships. Humans, too. But you saved more of those along the way. Maybe too many. You look at Hakon with disbelief. Oh, population problem. Overpopulation. I'm not saying I would have done things different, but some of those ships were just too weighted down. As far as we know, this group is all that's left of my kind. Each far all death is one step closer to being wiped out. Same with humanity, buddy. For a moment, the Varl King looks more vulnerable than you have ever seen him before. Hakon squints into the distance. Oh yeah, especially with hard difficulty. Thanks, Arnie. I'm glad that you like that. 
I've, I've played one on the hard difficulty too and beat it. And unfortunately my save was deleted, so I just started this with a generic kind of uh, beginning. Is it important? Oh! Oh! A four hour old coffee is bad. Doing it for the caffeine. Their next attack is, is coming, and this time, they'll come in force. Oh, what do we do? What's up, Tiger of the Gale? What do they want? What do you think they want? They want your supplies, and they want to kill you. I think they want your land. I, I don't know. I have no idea what the Dredge want. From, my, from the looks of it, they're nomadic, and they have children. I think they want supplies and to survive. I think they're trying to survive just as much as we are, but... That's the way the world works in Banner Saga, and the way the world works. Um, and then we should charge before they're ready. I've led everyone to a dead end. Any chance of fighting through them? Then we should charge before they're ready. I've led everyone to a dead end. Any chance of fighting? Charge before they're ready! It's too late for that, little one. And there's not enough of us to make a dent. Then what? We just wait here until they run us off the Yeah, there was a lot of them. That was that was stupid. I was thinking that we could charge and try to like push a hole and maybe like push through in the woods and run <laughs> Modding for Captain Lurking here. Awesome! Who do you mod for? Cause you are like super cool. I'd like to talk to you later. And Twilight Gamer if you're if you're up for it. I'd like to talk to you. A little bit later after the stream. Juno and Ivan approach. There may be a way out of this situation. A gamble to be sure. But we believe it's our only chance. Gods. It's been what? When a Valka option is the only option. Or it's bad when a Valka option is the only option. I just want to give him like a goofy voice. Worse than that. I can't promise everyone will make it. That makes no sense, but I just want to be weird. Juno gives Ivan the look, and I'm only doing the voice acting again for main characters who I feel are important, like Alette, Ivor, Olverk, and um, I think one other. So what's your idea? Ivan sighs, because there's so many characters. No, they're good, play. With Juno's help, I think I can get across the chasm, but it won't be easy for me or the caravan. Dude, I'm excited about the future. Like, we're gonna be probably doing a Q&A with Battleborn dev developers to get some real amazing answers to hopefully calm people down and address a lot of questions and concerns regarding Battleborn. There's Atlas Reactor, there's this, thanks to the developers. Like, the channel's just growing, the Discord is growing. The tweets are amazing. People are checking out the YouTube to see other content. Like, I am so grateful for everyone who's here right now because you can be anywhere. So thanks for choosing to be here with us. Seriously, thank you. With Juno's help, I think we can get across the chasm. Chasm? Chasm. I think it's chasm. Um, yeah, chasm. But it won't be easy for me or the caravan. I need to help Ivan to calm these people so they are ready to march when he is ready. You need to keep this area clear of dredge at all costs. If they, the sound of a war. That's a war horn, cuts her off and everyone turns to look. The dredge assault begins. Alette, pack on, you know what to do. We got fight. It looks, okay, here we go. This is the battle time. This is the other mechanic of this game that I love and hate. It looks like the force you trained is roughly the size of the enemies. This could go either way, but a victory here will protect most of your clansmen. So if we win, most of our clansmen should be good. Juno and Ivan move to the cliff's edge. Hakon, surveying the battlefield, says some supply barrels could make a few barricades for defense. Otherwise, it'll be a straightforward assault. You consider what to do. Uh, supplies for barricades? Assault the dredge without the barricades. I kind of want the supplies. We're not going to use barricades. We'll need those supplies, you say. The Varl King gives you a look that says, if we make it through this. Let's do it, charging in. 
Thank you, Bring the Game. It's just about pushing yourself. Like, we're not, we're not at sustainability yet. Like, I have rent and things I have to pay for, but we're getting there. You have to push yourself. Like, I have a, an article I wrote about Atlas Reactor. If you type exclamation mark Discord and check the creation section, you can check out that article for yourself. It's not published yet, but it's written. I wrote it in 12 hours is what my deadline was to write that article. You understand Hakon's reasoning, but sound the call to attack regardless. Let's do it. <laughs>